Hi there, students. Counter. A noun, a verb, a prefix, um, and then I guess as an adjective or a modifier as well. Um, from the ver also uh, the from maybe the verb to count as well. So we could start with a counter is a person who counts one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, or you could have um, a Geiger counter, yeah, that counts radiation, or you could have call you could call somebody a bean counter, somebody who pays excessive attention to details, an accountant. I've also heard it a rivet counter or a co or a comma counter, yeah, um, either an accountant or somebody who's fixed on uh, making sure that the numbers are exactly, exactly, exactly right. Okay, counter, a counter, a long flat surface, sort of like a table in a shop or in a bank or in a restaurant where they serve people. So you could have a kitchen counter, yeah? There was uh, the... Um, uh, receptionist at the hotel was behind a counter, behind the counter. You could have counter staff, people who work at uh, behind the counter, yeah? And then you could buy things over the counter. So you can buy them with, w without needing a f an official permission to buy them. Yeah, um, you can buy legal things over the counter, but if you want something illegal or you haven't got the right permission, you need to buy it under the counter. Yeah, so uh, the uh, pharmacy or the chemist sold uh, medical drugs uh, over the counter and illegal drugs under the counter. Okay, so uh, counter, a long flat surface. Um, to counter, to react to something, to oppose it, to oppose an action. So uh, he countered his enemy's every move. Um, they uh, countered the advance of the enemy by uh, sending in troops to defend the area. Yeah? Um, they put up... Um, concrete posts to counter uh, traffic parking on the edge of the road. Um, so they, they uh, Im implemented safety measures to counter any possibility of violence. Um, I said that his product was very expensive, but he countered that it was also very good quality. <laughs> and then we have lots of words with counter uh, as a prefix or a modifier. So, um, counterclockwise, yeah? yeah? Well, to me it's like that, but probably like that, it's for you like that. It's counterclockwise, in the opposite direction to the hands of a clock. You could have something that's counterfeit, yeah? It's a copy, yeah? It's not the real thing. Or maybe something to counterbalance, to make things equal. Um, you need to put more weight on that side to counterbalance the two sides. Um, I had to work on Sunday, but they counterbalanced this by giving me an extra day off. Then you could have to countermand an order. So the the officer gave an order, but then he countermanded it. It's no stop that order, um, cancel it. To countermand, yeah, to countermand an instruction, um, to counterattack. So the enemy attacks you, and then you counterattack them. Uh, there were counter terrorist or uh, uh, organize uh, the police counter terrorist unit against the terrorists. So this counter is acting against, acting in opposition to, in the opposite direction to, balancing against. Um, 
There was a uh, demonstration in uh, support of the Ukraine, and then there was a counter-demonstration in support of Russia. Um, okay, his counter-argument, uh, he, his argument against what I said, his counter-argument was interesting, but not enough to change my mind. Um, maybe in a negotiation, somebody makes an offer and the opposing side make a counter offer yeah so they uh, w would you sell it to me for 10 no but i would sell it to you for 20 that's a counter offer in in a bargaining situation okay so to counter yeah to act against we also actually have the phrase to run counter to this runs counter to my beliefs it goes in the opposite way this uh, runs counter to the uh, interests of society yeah I think many many factors in biz big business run counter to the interests of our environment you could counter a threat to act against it to um, try to nullify it you could also actually have a, uh, a noun as a counter. When you play a game, you have a counter that marks your position or it marks your score on a board. If you've ever played Monopoly, which counter do you like to use? I normally end up with the iron or the boot, yeah? But there are different counters. They represent your position on a board game and uh, these are counters. Yeah, um, I think in this phrase to run counter to, it's act um, counter is here a acting as an adverb. OK, so counter as a prefix, opposing as a reaction to. Yeah, um, a counter, a long, flat, narrow surface in a bank or a restaurant where people are served. A ki the kitchen counter is where I prepared the food. Um, to counter um, misinformation, yeah? So I uh, made a video to explaining the truth to counter any rumours that were go inaccuracies or inaccurate rumours that were going around, yeah? Uh, to, uh, okay, a counter opinion to, uh, in a way that opposes an opinion or, or a reaction. Yeah, the, this works counter to our interests in the opposite way too. Okay, and then yeah, across the counter, above, above, uh, over the counter, something that's readily available and can be bought without needing a permission. Yeah, but uh, for example, if you need a medicine that needs a doctor's prescription, that's not over the counter. You need to produce it, or you could buy it illegally under the counter okay so this word counter has a lot 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 of uses you know we can use it in a, a in many different ways um okay so let's see as to formality counter um most mo most of these words are neutral formality so to counter a threat I give it five and a half. To run counter to, maybe six in formality. Counterclockwise, five use anywhere. Counterfeit, maybe six in formality. A counter offer, five and a half in formality. Um, countermand, this is probably a more formal word. I'd probably give it a seven in formality. To counterbalance, five. Counterattack, five. Counterterrorist, five. Counterdemonstration, counterargument. A bean counter, that's informal. I'd probably give that three and a half. A Geiger counter, five. A kitchen counter. Yeah, the, kit the counter in the kitchen, five in formality. But somebody working behind the counter, five in formality. Um, over the counter, I think I'd give this five in formality. And under the counter, maybe 4.5 in formality. Okay, so generally words with counter, unless the extra bit that goes with it is uh, a formal word, then it's usually pretty normal. Okay, so as to origin, 
Okay, well, firstly, uh, this word, one of the etymologies comes to us from French, from the word comptoir, the uh, flat surface where people are served, which comes from Latin computatorium, from computo to calculate, to work out. And I guess the counter is where you count out the money, where the goods or the money is counted. Yeah? Um, okay, as in a Geiger counter to count one, two, three, four, five. Then this meaning of to counter, to act opposite to, comes from uh, French, contre, against, which itself comes from Latin, contra, which means against. So this is talking about in opposition to, uh, uh, c counter, yes, yeah? so um, a counterattack, a counter move, a, a counter reaction, a counter demonstration, something that's opposite to it. Yeah, so I don't know. I think that's probably enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Counter.